was it about the script that attracted you when you first? Um, when you first came in, it's kind of it's a different genre. I've not done this for a while. Um, and then there were two strong, the leads were two women, essentially, um, and the two guys. And it's to see those roles mixed up. When I first got it, I was expecting to read two girls being hammered to death with a knife. And it's really the opposite, which was really nice to read and really fun to make. So I was in. I mean, the, the, the character that you're playing is very much a femme fatale, isn't it? So, and you're also playing a lot, it's a sister relationship that you have. So how did you both work together to kind of build that bond between you? Well, you know what? We actually, I came onto the film really late. So um, Kelly and Danny had made a short based on the film. And then Michael and I were both cast literally kind of four or five days before the shoot started. So we really didn't have any time and most of that prep days were spent in costume and makeup and hair tests and things. And I think the first time Kelly and I met, we did a bit of a kind of read through style thing. We just sat in a room and then we decided actually, somehow, luckily, it just kind of, we instantly got on. And it's all there on the page. It's like credit to Danny because the story's there and the relationship's already written into it. So there wasn't really that much work to do. And luckily we got on. She's quite nice. And you, we're here at Fright Fest. Um, what is it, uh, do you think, about the, the horror genre that people just kind of tap into? I think it's fun. It's not... I never. I don't think I've ever seen a horror film that takes itself too seriously, which is really nice. And, I mean, you know, I know I've probably saw the Saw films for the first time when I was, like, 12 and still find myself going back to them to get that feeling that I first got when I saw Jigsaw, say, which is the worst thing I've ever seen. And I think people go back to them because they're exciting and they've always got, I think, I always find horror films quite funny. I can't say that for everyone else. But it kind of, it gets your heart going and they're fun to watch with other people, which is why Fright Fest is particularly great because it's giving them the screens that they might not necessarily get as kind of like, you know, a British horror or a lower budget horror film. So I think it's, that's where you want to see it. You want to see it on a big screen, surrounded by people to feed off each other. And I Shared experiences. Yeah, and that's really fun, I think. Well, Claire, I wrote the script. Oh, right. Well, that would be... <laughs> <laughs> well, when I first read it, I went, bloody, this is good. Who wrote this? And then I went, me. And I went, well done, me. And then we had a hug, and it got weird after that. I won't go into what happened after that. But, um, uh, yeah, so uh, I, I'm just really, really proud of it. It was the first, first script I'd r written... So uh, I didn't know what I was doing, but I luckily had a brilliant producer, Matt Wilkinson, who kind of helped us shape it. And then Ben came on board and helped us shape it again. So I had some great people around me helping me with the script. But um, yeah, well, I'm really, really pleased with it. So, so what was the genesis of the story for you? What made you want to actually sit down and write it? Uh, I mean, it sort of stemmed from a general anxiety and fear that I had around talking to women. Obviously not now. I'm over that fear. Um, but uh, when I was younger, that was something that I was quite scared about. And so I thought, would well, it be quite nice to write a film about a guy who's cripplingly shy, but the one night that his friend gets him over that shyness is the one night he really should have stayed at home. And so I liked that idea. I thought that, that's something you could have fun with. And then it just sort of stemmed from there, really. And I wanted to keep it simple because I'm not a great writer. You know, I didn't know what I'm doing. So I thought, two guys, two girls, one night, not too many locations. and. So yeah, it sort of stemmed from there. Did you, did you find that it was liberating to be able to push your imagination um, on paper where you probably didn't think you could take it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it was, and actually the, the guys were great in that they kept pushing me to go further with it. I was always trying to hold back and make things a bit more real and a bit more raw. And they were like, no, let's just go flat out crazy. Let's just have a load of fun and then make a real splash and so people remember it and so I think even if you don't like this film you remember it because it's pretty bonkers <laughs> but so I think it's just uh, it's just either you get on board with that sense of humor or you don't and hopefully and so far so good and you're here in your first film now at Fright Fest yeah I know amazing I've always wanted to come here I've heard people say this is just one of the most fun festivals yeah and that people really get behind films and get involved so we're hoping that we've got our screens coming up now and they're packed out so we're really excited you must be excited to be here today i am yeah it's my first time at fright fest so it's all very new yeah and, and this film what was it about it when you read the script that like you connected to really 
Um, well, I'd worked with Ben, um, Ben Barfoot, the director, and Danny Morgan, the writer, before we'd worked together on some short films. And I, I was a big fan of their work, and I, I just really wanted to... When, when they told me about it, we, we actually filmed a teaser before we did the feature. So it was, a, it was amazing to see it kind of change and grow, the script and the idea and the characters. And the fact that they kept me on board was a huge compliment, and I was just so grateful. And you're playing uh, alongside two, well, the two femme fatales and your sisters. How did you work to build up a relationship with each other? Sorry, I say that again. Can you say that again? You're playing uh, two femme fatales, and and so and your sisters as well, aren't you? And I just wondered how you created the relationship together to bring the truth of that relationship on screen. Um, I think we just acted it. <laughs> I mean, like, major rehearsal. No, we're like, we're, I think. Well, Georgia was really busy moving house, and and she and and it was all very last minute, very last minute. Um, so she has a sister. I have a sister. So we, I think, we both knew. You know, we had some sort of idea of what it's like. Maybe not that particular scenario. Thank God. But. Um, yeah, we just, I don't know, just acted it. Film, are you, as, a, as, a, um, as an actor, are you taken to emotional places that are out of your comfort zone? And how did Ben work with you with that? He, he's amazing. He's an amazing director. I felt really lucky to be working with him. Um, one of the things that he does is let you improvise, which I, I'm a massive fan of. So a lot of the time he'd say, do it again. But, you know, if you want to say a different line, that's fine. And usually we'd say the same lines, but just to be given the freedom, you just automatically relax and something new usually happens in that take. How did you become involved with the project and what was it about the script that you wanted to helm it? So I know Danny Morgan, well I've known him about 10 years now, we used to work at MTV together. Uh, and then uh, about five years ago we started hooking up and making shorts. Had a brilliant time doing it, realised that I had a really strong collaborative partner I could work with. We'd give each other a lot of freedom. He told me he had a feature film script. He then told me it had been optioned. I didn't really think too much to that. Uh, but then one thing led to another. The producer saw my shorts that I was doing with Danny, really liked what I was doing, and we all sort of became a team and really and just got pulled into it as a project. Yeah, I think as well that's important, especially at, at a low independent film budget, that you, you are a, um, you mesh together and there's a cohesiveness that, yeah. you know, yeah, definitely. And to be honest, I feel a little bit like I'm in a band at the moment. That's how it feels. It's like a three piece band because it's like me, Matt and Danny. And like my wife just just is getting so fed up with the fact that my phone sits there and it's a joint message from Danny and Matt. And all it does all day for the last year is just got meh, 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 meh. So uh, but in that is it's a lovely collaborative partnership because I think everyone covers all bases. No one treads on each other's toes. And if we do, we're all willing to listen to what each other have to say. So. And, and thinking about something that you've got to say, what was it about this film that you actually wanted to say? Blimey, what did I want to say? I, don't, I think, I, do you know what I did want to say? I think that um, I just really uh, believe in British cinema and I very much wanted to make something that I felt you know, was very British, but very entertaining and, and, and a lot of fun. And you know, there's a lot of, um, yeah, there's a lot of cool music in it. Some of it's, you know, some of it's British, and and yeah, I just think I was keen to, also very keen to sort of show off what I think is London and a night out in East London, and sometimes you sort of see a lot of films. I mean, it's very dominated by American cinema, and you kind of because I live in London and hanged out in London, went to a lot of parties here. I was kind of like, yeah, I really wanted to. I think me and Danny really wanted to show that that kind of world that we know a bit, and at least set a, this film in that, you know. And you, you've got two very strong leading ladies in this role as well. Was there something about tapping into the female psyche that perhaps you wanted to explore? Well, I mean, it was very much written in the script, so in a sense, you are being given a script. But definitely, I wanted to make, you know, certainly with, with Kitty, it was kind of make, you know, uh, a really quite hardcore, brutal female character. And uh, there's a big fight in it, which I'm really proud of, which, which I'm really proud of, because essentially it is, it's like a guy and a girl, just like an inverted sex scene. It's like they're just going at each other and just smashing each other to pieces. And that was, you know, I'm, I'm quite proud of that, because I, for me, it certainly there was, there was a feminist idea that I had towards doing it. So, 